if most of the producer or the producers did put out my song them time there, I'll blow up bigger back then. But I'm happy now because I understand the journey. Everything happens for a the reason. The journey. Because I've learned a lot. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Yeah. Because, you know, we just interviewed, because, you know, we talked about producers. But before I want to say that, I want to ask you, so, but what inspired you to become a producer, though? Who inspired yes, you for that? Good, good question. All right. When I was a rookie in the music, I used mm-hmm. to record on a lot of rhythms for other producers. And sometimes they'll put out the rhythm and don't put my song out. Mm. Hurt. Exactly. Hurt. Um, or if they do put my song out, it come out late when the rhythm already out. Mm-hmm. So I believe in what I, I, I do. I believe in myself. I'm self-motivated. I'm self-driven. I said, you know what? When I, when I start making money, I'm going to buy my own tape to do my own productions because I know if I'm going to do it, I'm, I'm going to put out myself. Exactly. And I, and, I, and I tell myself, whatever I do, whenever I record a, an artist, I'm going to put out the song because I don't want that person to f- feel that feeling that I felt. Because a lot of people hold back songs all yeah. the time. You Labels know, do it all the time. The, back in the 90s, I can tell you this. If most of the producer or the producers did put out my song them time there, I'll blow up bigger back then. But I'm happy now because I understand the journey. Everything happens for a the reason. The journey. Because I've learned a lot. Mm-hmm. And I'm not going to behave as if I know it all, but I know enough to keep this journey going. Mm-hmm. Wow. I love it. Okay. But um, oh, so I was, I was mentioning what I was going to say before is that we interviewed um, Caruso. Um, Bonsai, Bonsai Caruso. Caruso. Do you know who that is? No. He's, uh, he's also a Grammy winning um, producer. He, de- he deals with the Marlies. Okay. He did um, Welcome to Jam Rock. Mm-hmm. He did all of that. And um, he was talking about the difficulties um, being a producer and stuff like that. What difficulties have you faced being a producer? Yeah, sometimes you want to record um, an artist. You have an idea or you want to work, record that artist because to be a producer, you have to have a vision. And I mean, like, Stephanie, I may hear you talking. I may say, Stephanie, you know, I want to record you. And I say, yo, I can't sing. Oh, I can sing. I say, I heard it. Come, come and check me. And maybe you come, maybe you don't come. But like some of the established artists, you try to reach out. Them go and let them shit can't make party. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know? Them, mm-hmm. them, 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 them behave like if they sang it, mm-hmm. I'm the only one that, that's going to benefit. Mm-hmm. And believe me, most of the time, it's the artists get most of the thing. Exactly. I am reaching out to you to put you on, a, on the, another hit record or a, or a semi-hit record to keep your career going. But if it hit, if you get a hit, who gets paid more, the artist or no, the, the producer? The artists get more pay, man. Oh, the artists get paid more. The artists more. get more pay because remember, I'm the producer. I'm not going to do any show. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, on an overall basis. In an overall. Artist. Yeah, okay. the, because the artist, remember, yeah. the artists are going to get the... 20,000, 30,000, 50,000, 100,000. I'm the producer. I've got to wait, until that, I gotta wait until that song, song sell or play. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.